And right now there's a new program that the medical staff at New Hanover Regional Medical Center hope to be performing soon. A team of doctors now looking at a patient's options for a longer life. Carolina of the Morning's Caitlin Stansel on the campus of the Medical Center. She's got details of that new program. Caitlin, good morning. Good morning, Bob. Good morning, Kim. Many cases of heart valve disease go undiagnosed and even untreated, and that's kind of what the New Hanover Regional Medical Center's new heart valve program really focuses on. And I have one of the cardiovascular surgeons here with me, Dr. Peter Kane, to talk about some treatment options. Now, that really depends on the severity of the patient's case, correct? Yes, correct. It, um, usually the patients that we see are, are people that are coming with some degree of symptoms. Usually that's shortness of breath or, or chest pain. At what point do you have to kind of consider surgery? Well, there's a whole um, series of guidelines that, uh, that we follow that are uh, published by the American Co College of Cardiology. Um, and uh, typically it has to do with valve size and, and severity of symptoms and, and a whole host of other um, of things that we look at with each patient. And you kind of just talked about that, but um, who really is a candidate for these surgeries? Well, anybody really with a valve problem is a candidate for, for heart valve surgery as long as they meet the appropriate criteria. Um, fortunately, in, in 2014, we have options for almost any patient. Uh, including the very old and and um, and often the very sick. So, so really, almost anybody with a valve problem is a candidate for surgery. And this is a pretty new program here at New Hanover Regional Medical Center, and one that gives many more patients that option to a longer life. Yeah, that's true. The the, the valve program here in, in its current state is is. Uh, new, but we've been doing valve surgery here at New Hanover uh, Regional Medical Center for over 20 years. Uh, the, the new part of it is uh, the transcatheter valve program that, that's opened up uh, a window for our oldest, sickest patients uh, uh, and formalized it in a way where we collaborate with the cardiologist and, and, and other specialists uh, to bring this treatment to, to a wider range of, of the population. And that's what really makes that this program so unique is that bringing all the cardiologists and specialists to really look at each patient's case. And we're going to be following this throughout the morning, so stay with us here on Carolina in the morning. Coming up at 6 a.m., we'll have more on this. But for now, I'm going to send it back to you in the studio. Sounds like a very important program there, Caitlin. Thanks. Help a lot of people. Absolutely. <laughs> right now, we're about nine minutes after the hour talking about health for your heart. A new program at New Hanover Regional Medical Center that's giving more patients the chance at a longer life. The program revolved around heart valve disease, a condition that goes undiagnosed and untreated in a third of all cases. Well, Carolina, in the morning's Caitlin Stansel live right now uh, from the hospital with a little bit more on this program. Caitlin. Good morning, Kim. Good morning, Bob. Heart valve disease affects nearly 5 million Americans every year, and in many cases it goes undiagnosed and untreated. And if it does go untreated, it can be potentially life-threatening. These survival rates exceptionally low, and that's where the heart valve program at New Hanover Regional Medical Center's Health Cent uh, Heart Center comes in. They they have this new program where they bring in the top cardiologists from around the area along with surgeons and other specialists to look at each patient's case and they say this really streamlines that entire diagnostic process allowing you to skip those multiple appointments to get the best treatment plan. Now, I actually talked with one patient who says when she eventually got her treatment plan that she felt at ease going into her surgery. If you go through a period of time waiting for your life to end and there's a possibility that they can restore your life, then why be scared? No, I wasn't. I knew, I knew that I'd be all right. Now those treatment plans depend on the severity of each patient's case and it, it could just be a medication kind of thing or it could involve surgery. Now we're going to be following this story throughout the morning so stay with us here on Carolina in the morning but for now we are going to come back to you after the break with some more weather and news.
We're at six minutes after the hour, and this morning we need to talk about health for your heart. There's a new program at New Hanover Regional Medical Center that's giving more patients the chance at a longer life. The program revolved around heart valve disease. It's a condition that goes undiagnosed and untreated in a third of all cases. Well, Carolina in the morning's Caitlin stands alive from the hospital with more on how this could change things. Caitlin. Good morning, Kim and Bob. Heart valve disease affects nearly 5 million Americans every year, and many times it goes undiagnosed and untreated. But New Hanover Regional Medical Center, it has a new program revolving around this heart valve disease. And I have one of the cardiologists here with me, Dr. Matt Janik, talking about, you know, what is this disease all about and why are a lot of cases potentially life-threatening? Well, that's right. I think a lot of our viewers are aware that the heart is a pump circulating blood to the body each heartbeat. But I think a lot of people are unaware that there are four valves in the heart that need to open and close with each heartbeat, uh, both opening to allow the blood to flow forward and then closing to prevent it from flowing backwards. Uh, there are problems that can come from those valves, valve disease, which would involve either trouble with the valve opening, which would be called stenosis or a blockage in the blood flow, or those valves can fail to close properly and leak and allow blood to flow backwards. Uh, either of those troubles can cause symptoms and, and difficulties with people, and a lot of people are unaware until that's uh, really an advanced problem threatening their life or, or giving them symptoms and trouble. Now, what are some of those symptoms that people can look out for? That's right. Commonly, the uh, valve disease will be discovered by the exam from their primary physician. They'll hear a murmur and order an ultrasound of the heart, where they'll then define which valve has trouble, whether it's opening trouble or leaking trouble, and then commonly refer them to a cardiologist. But sometimes the symptoms are subtle. People can have chest pain, shortness of breath, dizziness, uh, or swelling in the legs, and, and those are difficult symptoms sometimes to diagnose. But an ultrasound of the heart can kind of tell them if that's from valve disease or something else. And there are a range of treatment options with this heart valve disease. And we're going to be talking about those coming up later in our show in the next half hour. But stay with us here on Caroline in the morning. For now, I'm going to send it back to you in the studio. All right. Sounds like something that affects a lot of people. Thanks, Caitlin. All right. Medical condition that maybe you or some of your family members have. It is heart valve disease and affects nearly 5 million Americans every year. Health officials say it's crucial to a patient's life to be diagnosed of that as early as possible. And that's so a new program at New Hanover Regional Medical Center hopes to do. A team of doctors looking at, at patients' options for longer life. Carolina in the morning's Caitlin Stansel live right now at the hospital to give us some more details on this program. Caitlin. Good morning, Kim. We're live here at New Hanover Regional Medical Center talking about their heart valve program. Now, this is a really innovative program bringing in cardiologists, surgeons, and other specialists to really look at each patient's treatment options if they have heart valve disease. Now I have one of the doctors, Lance Lewis, here with me, and he's here to kind of talk about, you know, what specialists are really involved in looking at these cases and coming up with these treatment plans. Well, we have three types of specialists that we involve. The first is an interventional cardiologist who's uh, an expert in placing stents uh, in the coronary arteries. The second is a cardiac imaging specialist who looks at the heart with the uh, ultrasound and CAT scans. And the third is a cardiac surgeon who is an expert in placing cardiac valves surgically. Now, why is it so important to have all of these kind of disciplines to come in to look at each patient's case? I think uh, each one of the disciplines supplies their own perspective and it allows us to look at the patient in a comprehensive uh, manner. These are very sick patients uh, with a lot of comorbid conditions uh, and generally advanced in age. So all these perspectives together help us to better care for the patient. And when you're going through something like this, I'm sure it's great to get a lot of different opinions and perspectives on what might be the best plan. You know, what is the feedback that you're getting from patients? Um, universally, it's been very good. The patients are all appreciative of the time we spend with them. Uh, it's an intense workup. Um, we have all three specialists looking at the patient and they all, as I said, bring their own perspective in different tests that patients need. Um, the families and the patients have all been uh, given us a big thumbs up and said they appreciate what we're doing uh, and the thoughtfulness and the comprehensive nature of our work. And we're going to have all the details on this program on our website, WECT.com, so just go there for all this information. But for now, I'm going to send it back to you in the studio. All right, Caitlin, thanks. May I have to alter. And we're talking this morning about your heart health and a new program at New Hanover Regional Medical Center that is giving more patients the chance and actually living a longer life. The program revolving around a heart valve disease, a condition that goes undiagnosed and untreated in one third of all the cases. 
Caroline in the morning's Caitlin Stansel now live from the hospital this morning with more on that program. And Caitlin, obviously it's a program that so many of us may need and could need down the road. Yeah, we're here at New Hanover Regional Medical Center talking about their heart valve program. And earlier in the show, our live feed kind of dipped out. So I brought back Dr. Linda Calhoun to kind of talk about some symptoms that patients see if they do have heart valve disease and why it's so important you make sure you kind of talk to your doctor about these when you do see the first signs. I think it's important to know that heart valve disease is silent until it's severe. And once a patient develops severe disease, then progressive heart failure symptoms may occur. Symptoms like shortness of breath, chest pain, swelling, weakness, dizziness, or even passing out. Once these symptoms occur, then we are talking about progressive debilitation or weakness and, prog uh, and greater risk for death. And that's why it's so important. The, the valve disease we're talking about in particular with our valve clinic is aortic stenosis. And once it's severe, then the patient has a greater risk of dying within three to six months. And that's why it's important to make their physician aware that these symptoms are present and be seen as early as possible. And you have a number of treatment options here at the heart valve program. Um, can you kind of talk about any of those for me? Well, what was terrible more than six years ago is if a patient was frail, high risk, like they were very old in their uh, late 80s or 90s, or if the patient had lung disease or uh, problems with uh, liver disease, they wouldn't be even considered for valve replacement. But now that there are transcatheter techniques where you can actually introduce a catheter that's crimped on a cath, a valve that's crimped on a catheter through the, the groin area or through the uh, aorta, sometimes using a very minimally invasive technique, you can actually replace these valves in these very frail patients. So we have options of open surgery as well as uh, minimally invasive techniques for valve replacement. Wow, and I actually talked to a patient yesterday who went through this entire process. Her doctor originally said, you know, it's way too high risk for you to have this open heart surgery, like you could die on the table. But then once this program really started up here, they came back and said, you know, we have a lot more options available at this point. And she says she really credits the heart valve program for giving her a longer life. If you go through a period of time waiting for your life to end, and there's a possibility that they can restore your life, then why be scared? No, I wasn't. I knew, I knew that I'd be all right. Now, what makes this program what makes this program so unique is that they bring in the top cardiologists from around this area, as well as surgeons and specialists, to really look at each patient's treatment plans and to come up with the best one possible for them. So we're going to have all these details on our website, foxwilmington.com, if you think you may be suffering from this disease, which does go undiagnosed and untreated for millions of Americans across the country every year. You know, go to our website, check out those details. Again, that's foxwilmington.com. But for now, live at New Hanover Regional Medical Center, Caitlin Stansel for Fox Wilmington News. All right, Caitlin, thanks again. It's just, just another, another indication of just how good the hospital we have here is and that oftentimes you don't need to go to Duke. You don't have to go to Chapel Hill, that perfectly good and professional care is available right here in Wilmington. I agree. And some interesting reports this morning. I didn't know, and I didn't know that that could be done for that condition. Yeah. So it's awesome. Yeah, and, and cool. again, it's happening, it's happening right here. That was at New Hanover Regional Medical Center. So All right. good to know.